<laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Jersey Boys Outdoors. This is our April 4th fishing report for the Jersey Shore. Guys, we uh, asked you last week to send in your uh, vote for your uh, favorite bait and tackle shop that you want us to do our blow room giveaway at. And um, you guys didn't disappoint, but very few of you agreed on the same thing. It seemed like <laughs> other than other than one. So I'm, what we're going to do is we're going to list off, and I will probably put all these in the description below. That way you can also go read them. List off all the bait and tackle shops we had recommended to do our bloodworm giveaway at, which we will do after we announce the winner next week. Um, and then you guys can go and vote on these ones, hopefully try not to add any more unless you have like a whole family that's going to go vote for this one but the current uh ones we have are tight lines tackle shop and summer's point up front bait and tackle and keyport chestnut neck and tucker now that's got three votes so that currently is in the lead obviously uh fisherman's headquarters and lbi gabriel's bait and tackle and brick jersey hookers outfitters and brick and greenhorn outdoors in pennsville so if any one of those is like, hey, yeah, I love that place, then please drop us a comment below. Hit us on our text line, email, Facebook, Instagram, however you want to get a hold of us. Let us know um, because we're adding, like I said, one more. We're giving doing a blood burn giveaway at um, Riptide Bay and Tackle and Brigantine and Great Bay Marina in uh, Mystic Island. And we're looking for one more. So hit us up with a vote. And, uh, you know, like I said, after we announce it next week, we'll do a, we'll do a giveaway. All right, guys, don't forget our striper contest starting for April. Uh, so Started. Started. Started for Official. April. Um, don't forget, you got to send that report to us, and we need a measurement, a picture that of has the measurement. Be right. It's got to be with yeah. a tape measure or a ruler or a, a foot doesn't count. Somehow you guys. Your hands. You guys are always that. able to tell us how big they are, so we just want to <laughs> see the tape measure you use. That's all. Um, so right. send, us a, send us a picture of that tape measure. Uh, uh, um, the so fish can, next to the yeah, tape measure. the fish next to it, right. Uh, so right. we see how big. So uh, it's got to be sent to us. Uh, picture, and we understand too. We understand. I mean, you know, especially with a lot of these bigger stripers, we obviously want to handle them with care. You know, we don't. You know, so uh, you know, it, it doesn't. We're, we'll give you a little bit of grace. Like we don't need to fish out on dry land or on the beach. You know, laying next to the ruler. Hopefully, you guys have a you know some type of a um, you know kind of flexible tape measure that you can hold next to it in some way. You know, to get us that to get us that picture, uh, you know, and that's that's all we're looking for. Right. And finally, uh, the tiebreaker is not the weight anymore. It is the first the first submitted. So first submitted is the right. tiebreaker for the stripe contest. All right. With that, we will dive into our fishing report. All right. So I have Carl Hartman. He sent us a few reports uh, from the American anglers. Uh, first, we have Greg Philp uh, fishing LBI with bloodworms. Uh, he pulled in this nice striper that was just short. Uh, Carl was up north and he landed this 34 incher. Uh, he also sent us a couple pictures of other American anglers and their catches. Um, all right. And then I have, I'm going to butcher this name probably. Um, <laughs> Oh, Kessie Washington. He was fishing the Great Egg Harbor River using bloodworms uh, when he pulled in this healthy 31 inch striper. And finally, I have Brian Sullivan was in the Barnegat Bay using bloodworms when he pulled in this fat 31 inch striper. He landed two other shorts, Brian said. Uh, he's been seeing the most activity late afternoon to early evening. All right. And we currently, just to uh, harp back to our uh, contest, we don't have a leader right now. So none of the fish that were sent in were sent in with a tape measure or a ruler next to them. So the uh, uh, month of April is wide open right now. You can, you can send in a 12 incher and you can be in the lead right now. All right. I got Tommy Venom was fishing uh, Great Bay with a four inch topwater spook uh, when he was able to land this nice striper. Uh, Carl Chen was fishing with Chuck Bloom and Carl Hartman uh, on Easter in northern New Jersey rivers of bloodworms. Uh, they were able to land four stripers, five catfish, and four perch. A little bit of everything there. And then I also have Brian Valentine, who continues to kill the fish with his six-inch tsunami eel, or as he calls it, the magic eel. Brian is catching everything from stripers to walleye to smallmouth. Uh, and you can see here, Brian is churning through the eels, and he is still liking the night bites. I tell you, I go out there and I get yourself some uh, six-inch tsunami eels. Uh, and Brian is fishing uh, up in the uh, northern rivers of New Jersey. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. So, uh, guys, listen, hey, we always appreciate your support. Continue to send in your reports to us. You can hit us up through any of our social media sites or through our text line. All of our information is in the description below. And as always, we will see you next week. Good luck, guys.